What is up, guys? I hope everyone's having a beautiful Sunday so far. I know I am because uh, I'm about to listen to some of my favorite soundtracks in like any video game, really. These are just like classics, in my opinion, and I'm going to rate them all. Now, it's going to be, I'm going to rate them through the games that I actually played and not the ones that I haven't. So, like, I've never played Revelations 2 or I've never played Deadly Silence or Dead Aim or The Umbrella Chronicles or Outbreak or any of those games. So, I I would feel a bit, uh, bit biased if I, I rated those. So, I'm going to be rating um, Resident Evil 0 through uh, 7. Um... You know, we'll throw an 8 as well, because, uh, yeah, I really enjoyed that game as well. And, uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's, let's see how we're going to rate these. So, shout out to Tier Maker, as always, for letting me, uh, actually rank my favorite, my favorite games and shows and whatever. Highly recommend this website for, for your ranking needs. But, we're going to start off with Resident Evil 0. And, uh, oh yeah, we're going to be ranking S through F. S obviously being the best, and F being fantastic. Nah, I'm kidding. F being fucking horrible, and I just, I just don't like it. So, yeah, let's begin with Resident Evil Zero. Now, I have, I have a, uh kind of a weird relationship with Resident Evil Zero. I really do not like the game. I wasn't a fan of the, um, of having to control two, two characters at once and uh, there not being a save box, or save room box. But, I do have to say that the, uh, the intro does get me in the feels. It has that, that, uh, certain, that certain calmness to it and uh, pretty much captures the game pretty well. I'm gonna have to give it a, a B. It just, it just sounds very nice, you know, and it still gives those Resident Evil vibes that everyone loves. So, yeah, let's move on to the next one. Next one is Resident Evil 1, baby. The one that started it all. And this save room theme, I... Just listen. Ugh. I get goddamn shivers down my spine when I hear this one. When you first enter that save room, and you're just sitting there, just thinking about all the shit you went through, and now you're finally in safety. And each time I hear this song, it makes you want to shed a manly tear. It's just so beautiful. And for that, I will give it an S. I don't even want to talk, man. I just, I just want to I just want to put this on 10 hours repeat and just listen to it all day long. Ah, so beautiful. Anyway, let's move on to the second one. This one brings back so many memories. Resident Evil 2, man. Wow. It's it's just it's just pure perfection. It really is. Like it makes you feel safe, but it gives the vibe that there's just horror around the corner. As soon as you exit that safe room, you know you're fucked. You know there's like four or five dogs that are going to jump and bite your neck off. And yet, you still feel so calm while listening to this. So I'm also going to give this an S. This was also the first game I watched my brother and sister play. As a kid. So, it does have that, it does have that nostalgic factor to it. Now, moving on to Code Veronica. One of my personal favorite Resident Evil games, and one of the one of the games that I've that I tried to beat as a kid and I couldn't. And I recently actually did beat this game for the first time, maybe like two years ago now. 
during the pandemic, which was very fitting, as you can see. But um, yeah, let's uh, let's give this one a, lis a listen. So nice. Also, if they announce a remake for this game, I will personally shit my pants and record myself because <laughs> this it will just be pure perfection. I, this just brings me back to playing as Claire in the very beginning and just starting off in that graveyard and not knowing what the hell is going on but like a bunch of fire everywhere and a bunch of zombies just trying to eat your freaking face off. This Resident Evil truly, I think, had the best setting. You start off in the prison, somewhere off on an island somewhere, and then the, the how I, I can't even explain how hyped I was when you finally get to play as Chris at the second half of the game, and also how long the game is too, and also how difficult it is. I I had I did have trouble playing this game, but it was so much fun, man. And this theme, this theme perfectly captures that. So, that's gonna go S as well. <laughs> I mean, it's hard not to it's hard not to put these games in S. All the save room themes are so good. So let's move on to Resident Evil Three Nemesis. Oh man! Take the time to listen to this for a little bit. I can meditate to this shit, honestly. I'm not even gonna lie to you. Just close your eyes and just go back to 1999. Or whenever this game came out. I'm pretty sure it's 99. But this one... <laughs> this one hits me in the feels as well. And... All I, all I, all I can do is picture Nemesis just chasing me throughout the, st the streets of Raccoon City. I'm gonna go ahead and put this in S2, man. <laughs> like, I'm sorry, but it's just how it is. So off to Resident Evil 4 now. Oh man. This one brings me back to coming home from school or wherever the hell I was, popping this little disc into my GameCube and just getting lost in this game. Very, very excellent theme. I just, I love that, the, the ambience of it too. It's just, it's so calming. I'm gonna give this one an A. And uh, <laughs> Yeah, man, we're gonna be playing the remake of this game in about a in about a month, month and a half. So the hype is real, man. Next is Resident Evil Five. Sheesh. I remember when this game first came out. I was playing co-op with my buddy, and just I mean, I know a lot of people were kind of iffy about this game because like it kind of went down that action even more. It went even more down that action route after Resident Evil 4 kind of kind of changed the formula a little bit but I did appreciate this game it actually had a very very good setting as well like I liked how it took place in like in in, in the desert in Africa and and then the jungles and just the monsters and creatures and the, and and the virus the lost plot I'm pretty sure it's still a lost plot is virus it was just, it was just good. It was awesome. This theme is different though. This would actually play when you, when you were at the, um, at the end of, when you finished the chapter and you kind of just looked at all your, all your statistics and how you did in that chapter and your rating. It was just really fit the game well. It also gives me, it also gives me Resident Evil 4 vibes as well. Just like the same ambiance as it. I'm gonna go ahead and give this game a, 
I'm gonna give this a B. All right. Next up is Resident Evil 6. Now this one is a little bit different because it didn't really have a save room theme, but I did come across a fan made one that I think would really fit into the game and did such a great job. Um, I will link this in the description below. It is by Survival Spheres. And um, yeah, let's take a let's take a listen. Wow, that is beautiful. You, my friend, are very talented, and you definitely deserve a shout out. This could easily fit into the franchise. Like, if I were to hear this without knowing it was fan-made, I would I would think it was part of the series. It's, it's that good. I'm going to go ahead and give you an S, man. That's, that's just pure perfection. And it's beautiful. Alright, now we have Resident Evil 7. This one hits me right in the feels, man. Because I actually... This was when... This was when Resident Evil went back to their roots. Although they did go first person, it changed the whole entire game. It changed everything. You know what I mean? It just... Uh, let's, let's just listen to it. Oh, man. The Baker House was truly one of the best settings next to, next to Code Veronica's setting for any Resident Evil I've ever played as well. It is just... It was it was horrifying, honestly. That Resident Evil 7 is one of the scariest games I've ever played out of the whole franchise, by the way. I, I literally shat my pants while playing this game. And rightfully so. So I'm going to give it an A. Is that good? Now, we can move on, and actually, I'm gonna actually uh, rate the the remakes as well of Resident Resident Evil Two and 3's, uh theme, and uh, kind of see how they differ from um, how they differ from the, the the originals. Hmm. This one's a lot slower, but it has that calming tone as well. It's pretty, pretty nice. And it has... It's always the ambience, man. I know I've been saying this shit a million times, but these games just capture... Just capture... The music captures the game so well. But this doesn't hold a candle to the original, in my opinion. So I'm going to go ahead and give this one a C. And now, last but not least, let us move on to the Resident Evil 2 remake theme. This one is way different than the OG, that is for sure. I do like it because it's calming. But, uh, that's about it. I feel like they should have done a little remix of the original. This one also kind of sounds like Resident Evil 7's, um, save room theme. It's alright. I'm gonna go ahead and give this one a, uh, give this one a, a D. Actually, no. I'll give it a C. It was pretty good. Um, but definitely does not hold a candle to the 
to the ori original games at all. Alright, next up is uh, Resident Evil 8. Now, this isn't on the list over here, but I will... I will use Resident Evil Survivor as a uh, placeholder and just add the image in my recording to make my life easier. So um, let's give this let's give this one a listen as well. Nah, I could just put this song in the background and just fall asleep. It's like a lullaby to me. Entering that castle for the first time and walking into that room and seeing and seeing that big fat bastard sitting there and just listening to this song and knowing that I'm safe for a little bit is just it was just beautiful. And um it really is. It really is it just sounds so nice. So I'm going to give this one a give this one an A. It just it just sounds so so calming. And I and I truly appreciate that about these games. I like how it puts you through hell, gives you a million heart attacks. And then when you get to the save room, all your worries just go to go away for a moment. And you could just take that that break that you need in between before you just plunge back into hell. But yeah, this is uh, all the rankings of the games that I have played. Uh, maybe in the future I will uh, I will rank the other ones, but I just can't bring myself to rank the ones I haven't played yet. I feel like it's unfair. Um, yeah, so thank you guys for tuning in. Uh, I greatly appreciate your presence, and um, I hope you guys enjoy the rest of your day or night or wherever time zone you're in. Thank you guys for watching, and uh, I'll see you in the next video.